What's up, everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Climb blog. You guys are getting to ride along a little bit with me on this Wow Wealth Hacks Wednesday, Myths Dispelled Wednesday. We got a lot of work to do. Now, listen, I know you guys have missed me. I've been busy. Your girl's been out here trying to get it as all the way she can. So, quick follow up. So, FitCon was amazing. I needed that retreat. I needed that relaxation. I needed that conference like I needed air. I cannot explain to y'all the fact that from that one conference and one mastermind, I'm probably gonna do uh, the same amount of deals it took me to do in six years. I'm gonna have more rental properties, more investments, and also a future thing in Puerto Rico off of one trip. So when I talk to you guys about going into masterminds, going into these retreats, going to these conferences, there's a reason I am telling y'all to go because let's be really honest, I sat beside three different millionaires that were black. Like not guessing millionaire, not paper stocks millionaires, like real estate, rentals, uh, businesses, millionaire. Like can drive up to where they live now in the DC area and go, they own all four of those. And the fact remains is the all three of them are very low key on Facebook. They don't do Facebook really. Like they can't even really show their life on Facebook because you know how people will hate, man. You know, people don't like seeing people win for whatever reason, people just don't. And we can't change people, but we can live our lives to the best of our ability, right? So I got a new car mount, I'm in a rental car, so hopefully this one won't shake too bad. But if it does, hey, you know, we can always go to audio, all right? always listen to the audio later but <laughs> i needed that i need that i needed every bit of that now i'm going to be on todd capital is going to be interviewing me later talking about the power of masterminds and the uh uh vidcon conference so i'm not going to beat that to death on here i have so many videos that are going to just upload so many it's so crazy i'm so excited now here's the thing uh trump's dad left him a billion we're not even going there listen here jason i'm gonna start with this it's not there's a thing I love saying on this channel. Stop worrying about what other people are doing. Stop counting other people's pockets. What are you doing? doing? Stop counting other people's pockets. What are you doing? What are you doing? What does your credit look like? What does your bank account look like? What does your business bank account look like? Like people are so pressed, worried about other people's pockets. It's like, as I sat there, and, and if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you saw that I met Jabril in the airport. I was working, I was literally on my laptop working, minding my own business. So when he came up, I was like, what's up? And didn't even, wasn't even pressed. Wasn't even like, not that I wasn't impressed, I was completely impressed by him, but I wasn't sitting there like, oh my God, Jabril. And finally just said, hey yo, uh, you know, this is kind of what I'm doing. Super chats, internet, look at other people's channels, so much information. And when I did that, I was sharing value with someone. I was giving someone value and that's the problem. So many people are so pressed and worried about what other people are doing. They miss the whole opportunity. They miss their opportunity and their ability to give, to do better because of it. And so the thing of it is, is while we're at the conference, there were so many people who were like, yo, I got 40 or 50 K sitting on the sidelines or putting them in different apps, but they know, they completely know that real estate is where it's at. And so I was on, the so not giving i can't give away information of the mastermind because we signed we know we signed documents you know you can't do that but anyway um we like just for me asia was there in person and we could go page by page address by address on the uh, detroit auction site and she could go oh i know this neighborhood i know this neighborhood i know how much this is gonna cost and if you know anything about auctions or you guys have heard me talking about auctions on this channel they literally have um, an estimate, right? Like if you go want to go bid on this property, it says, um, we think it'll estimate this much to fix this property. Now, when they do that, a lot of people are like, oh, that's too much. You know, they trying to hustle you. Oh, you need less. And Asia, every, every time she saw one was like, yeah, that's spot on. Yeah, that's spot on. Like, and I've even bounced her number and the number they estimated to another contractor. And he says, that looks about right. And the fact is people go, well, I'm not trying to buy a thousand dollar property in Detroit and put 50 grand into it. Like, okay, well then you can go just go buy an already turnkey 50 grand property. But that's the point. Most people don't got the money to go ahead and get a 50 grand property because they, if they could, they would already have done it. So a lot of people be running this mouth shit and it just wears me out. 
uh the fact is get in where you fit in if you can get that property closed at auction for a thousand or two thousand dollars and then they give you six months to nine months to get it done to get it right to get it fixed and that whole time if you've been watching this channel i name drop where i go on these sites day in and day out for lenders for online lenders for banks a lot of y'all want somebody to put it in your hand and let's be really honest that's part of the reason i'm raising prices if you want me to break out a whole master plan for you to get your sh going that's three grand bro that's three grand like i'm giving you a whole business like i think people really undercount advice right because if you're running around getting advice from everybody and you're really not taking it serious then you know that you'll keep running you'll run around and ask everybody what they think of your plan but if you're really serious i'll walk you through what you need to do to get rolling but I'm not doing it for free. I have my own stuff I gotta do. I got companies and LLCs and stuff I'm doing on my own. I'm trying to hire two VAs today. And one VA is just to answer emails from reporters <laughs> to, to decide, okay, this is good, this isn't good, this is good, this isn't good, you should do this interview. Okay, here, I'm gonna give them this, e this email response of who you are as a person, Erica Williams, to save you the hours of typing together emails all day to respond like it's really i'm trying to show y'all that it they're, they're in order to really grow you're going to need people you're either going to need people as far as these conferences as far as these networking events are partnering like i'm with hood estates elite i'm one of their elite advisors and group one is partnering together and buying properties and doing deals and being rolling on the road group two is just now starting to get good but that's the point like you, you got to realize the most important part of all this is people every other group is out there when i go to these auctions and i go to these apartment complex uh events like it's five people rolling up together like hey let's go right because if you need one hundred fifty thousand for the down payment and everybody in that group can come up with at least twenty five thousand, you're there how do you think people buy these apartments but that means you each person has to be a strong link on that team you can't have like four people all trying to like i, I just got my time and one person has the money it all has to be heavy hitters you all have to be bringing something to the table and people don't really hear that right they want to get in deals with no money no credit no time erica i just want to get uh rental properties with no none of my money none of my time and be stunting on them you, you can't do all of it at one time sorry you can't like i i won't sit here on this channel and feed lies to you if you want lies go to anybody else's channel anybody else's channel even the whole thing about wholesaling like i'm bringing nina onto the channel to talk to y'all because a lot of times people have all these ideals about what wholesaling is or isn't oh i've been trying to wholesale for a year and i ain't got no deals and that's just a lie like right now i'm home in Fayetteville and i've driven in the rental car maybe like seven neighborhoods and i already have a list of maybe uh i would say 45 people that i'm gonna write out and send letters to i mean i'm not oversimplifying what she does and her business in Cleveland is still selling and buying homes every single day of the week. That's the truth and testament to systems and processes and operating agreements. When I be trying to tell y'all, y'all got to really have an operation manual for how you run things, right? There's people on bigger pockets. I can go pick out four people. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of bigger pockets because they be trying to clown certain neighborhoods, but I'm just show showing them as an example. They've got four or five people on there who live in California and she is dominating the market in nashville for like three years people are like who is this chick and it was all because she had a system of mailing people working with wholesalers like just consistently having a group of people a team and i'm sitting here telling y'all about teams and i think y'all probably be like okay or whatever whatever and there's just such power in it like from that conference i know there's at least five states i can go into right now somebody's going to walk me through this particular area i can close on that deal and they would for a few ducats every month or so go by and drive by it and check on it and whatever like that's the power of that that's the power of that right and like even when i talk about these auctions like the auction sites you go on there there's people who are doing 95 percent funding i'm telling y'all foa commercial and i think y'all be sleeping on it like yeah whatever Erica, okay they're not even asking for your personal income right so on one hand are there places where you can get by with not having to drop your personal income, not having to do a lot of stuff? For sure. But you gotta be in position in place. Like a lot of you are trying to do uh, million dollar deals and you don't even got the credit shit straight. Like, and a lot of stuff, when I get on the phone with some of y'all, I notice like over the course of time of you watching the channel, your life changes. 
whether it's me or other people or you're watching a lot of channels, you start making more money and you go, you know, Erica, let's just pay for delete and get this rolling. And I love that because you're like, I'm so over that, Erica. I'm so over dealing with that old credit issue. Let's keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, you can get around credit issues, but you're going to need money. You're going to need cash money to get around those credit issues. Cash money. Now, people say, where go? I got time. Okay, if you got time, you're going to have to show somebody some skin in the game. I bought on Kier and Khalil and the video. See, this is the problem. This is how I know y'all sleeping on it. I bought on Kendra. Kendra's making $200,000 a year in rental income, her and her husband. They make $6,000 a month at sometimes in Airbnb money. Then I bought on Khalil earlier. I dropped their video. I meant short little videos. Short little videos. Khalil and Kier got 18 rental properties in Baltimore. They're 29 and 30 years old. Then on top of that, they got seven flips going on right now. And those videos got low views and that's how I know. Now, some of it could be Skynet. It's not alerting everybody the video got posted, but that's what I'm talking about. You guys really aren't trying to, um, you ain't really trying to get it, right? You're like, oh, I'm trying to get it, Erica, maybe a little bit, you know, trying to hang out, but you're not really trying to get it. Like these people have 18, they were, we were in a house together for a week. Bro, the mind is blown. Like I keep trying to, express to y'all like the power of groups the power of networking the power of really like like right now there are people like oh erica i really want to do the auctions i really want to do the auctions Eric. And i go okay well you know to get in on this um building detroit auction it's literally like a thousand uh to two thousand really like a thousand dollars to hold that spot get that locked in three days later you just got to show that you're gonna if you're showing them you're getting funding They'll give you 60 days to bring the damn money down there. If you're showing them that you're going to um, pay cash or already have your funding straight, they'll give you 30 days to get down there. So what you're telling me is you don't have a thousand dollars or you don't have a team, right? A team is somebody who could be on the ground, do the rental, do the construction, do the rehab, all that good stuff. But that's what I'm hearing because it's a thousand bucks. Now auction.com, you're probably going to come out of pocket around 2,500, but they're going to hold that. And so if you win the bid, then, you know, <clears throat> Uh, they hold like a uh, 2500 as part of the down payment or 10% or whatever the amount is, right? So as collateral towards it. Now I'm oversimplifying a lot of these things and I'm, I'm kind of moving quickly in this conversation. Not because I want to rush y'all off, but I, I just need y'all to figure out where you are in this spectrum, right? If you, if you don't have a thousand bucks to even get on the auction site, like a lot of this is, it's up here. It's up here, right? If it's fire, hit the like button. It's 59 on y'all here. It's 16 likes. Come on, y'all. Hit the. I'm not even asking for super chats. Like, I don't even need the super chats. Like, I thank you for the super chats. I thank you for donating to the channel. It shows me you respect the content. But at the end of the day, like, I'm really just trying to show y'all, like, the money's unlimited. It's up here. It's between here. Like, we had a lot of discussions at the house about poverty and how people get out of poverty or, or continue or, like, people's moms telling them to have babies so they can have government assistance and stuff like that. A 17 and 16-year-old kid know damn well. This is, And the reason I say they know it is because I'm meeting way too many 20 to 27-year-olds who got, like, little babies, and they're like, Erica, I want to travel. Everybody's traveling, and I can't travel. Well, first of all, nobody told you to have that kid. That's one. Number two, um... Number two, travel will always be there. Like being so pressed to travel, calm that, calm that down ASAP. Like you're, you're being so pressed, it's ridiculous. There's so much uh, opportunity out here. Like right now, I just am amazed at like how many people are getting it. Like how many black people are getting it? I'm gonna say that. I love all my white people on my channel, all my Hispanic people, all my Asian people. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all in the comments. I see y'all when y'all purchase things. I'm just saying when I was, I'm just saying when I was at FidCon, never ever, ever has it been like 30% black. It's always been like 90%, 30 of the 35 year old white dudes hanging out, having a good time, trying to do the early retirement movement. And do y'all know what the early retirement movement is? I'll explain it in a second if you don't know. Just put a one in the comments if you don't know. Okay. Um, and this year, it was like 30%, straight up 30% black speakers, black uh, attendants. You know, everybody, I was taking all these pictures, and everybody's like, is, is FitCon a predominantly black event? I was like, nah, I just was excited to see people. So all the pictures I took were with a lot of Asians and black people. I just forgot. I took like a bunch of pictures with Asians and black people and didn't even think about it. I was like, I should have went around, took more pictures with white people. Maybe people would have thought it was a diverse event. But I was just excited. I was like, hey, look at you. I met a ton of black accountants, uh, a black CPA, you name it. They were out there, right? PA, you name it. They were out there, right? 
they were out there in force, full force, and they were talking. They were so excited to see each other because, you know, just the just, you know, sometime in the financial industry, it's not a lot of brown people, not even a lot of Asian people sometimes. It's just not. So we saw all these Asian dudes. We're like, what's up? And um, it, it, it's just uh, amazing, right? It's just amazing because it's, it breaks that narrative that everybody's out here struggling. Everybody's out here with weed and food stamps and all this stupid stuff. That's not true. There's all of us out here. There's a ton of us out here winning, taking pictures. And, and guess what? All the black guys that are in the pictures we took were all married. So they were trying to be very respectful and hands off. And I was like, congrats to you, black man. And they were all married. And so I'm like, it's dispelling these myths that one, millennials aren't married. Two, the black people ain't out here married. Like all the women at our table were married. All of them. And they were all like 28 to um, 30. It was like a joyous thing to see. Like I was like, get it, girl. All y'all get it. Every single one of you. Um, and so it just dispels that myth. Those are myths. Yo, I met this woman who invested in apartments. Her husband's from Australia. She's black and she's just living her best life. She was about to go travel overseas for a year. She was like, yeah, I'm just just out here, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, my heart, yo, my heart was a, was astounding with so much joy because of all the winning that was there. It was like Donald Trump says, there's so much winning. You're going to be sick. You're going to be sick to your stomach all the time. We'd be winning. Um, but I was excited. That's how excited I am. You guys, I'm so excited. I can't even explain to you. Like the energy level of me leaving Texas where I was so like, oh, uh, and I got from FitCon. I was like, party on Wayne, party freaking on. And the fact that I was like one of the few people who were like YouTubers, everybody was like, what? what explain that again erica tell us again so it was very enjoyable there was podcasters there there was all kind of people now next year's big con is going to be in dc now if you live in the dc area and you don't go it's a little costly but i promise you that 600 dollars. i did a basic ticket i didn't even do a pro pass i did a 600 dollars basic ticket that 600 dollars ticket i promise you is gonna have me a million dollars i promise you like i'm gonna track it from here to next year i'm gonna have a million dollars from that event and the mastermind of that night. I'm telling y'all, I don't think y'all really understand the 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 ma magnitude of what I'm trying to explain to you. That when you get in the room with other people who are like, let's go. Oh, next year it's in D.C. This year it was in um, Orlando, Florida, at a resort. But next year it's in D.C. And there's just no excuse. Like, there's no excuse, y'all. I mean, there's just, I'm so excited. It, it, I'm gonna try to speak on stage next year. And this is how I can tell y'all, the bar is so low for achievement in America that when I was there, there were people on stage who had like 300 followers, 300 YouTube subscribers. And that's why I tell y'all don't get caught up on the subscriber mess because even though they were on the stage and they were talking, they were, most of them were making big old buckaroos, but they had very loose, very few followers because people out here who's really doing it, they aren't, they aren't, they're not like me, Glendon and a couple other people are all here like, hey, I'm trying to give you game because I'm like, open the door, come through. It's so many. Come on. Come with us. Like, it's fun, right? Um, the book, what's that guy that wrote? What's his name? Somebody put in the comments, why should white guys have all the fun? That 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 book is, is, is a laughter at life because I think a lot of people get in these mindsets of like, oh, you know, I got to be young and like some middle-aged white dude or something who has all these credit cards. That's bunk, yo. I want you to get your money up, but I want you not to be uh, pigeonholed by it because the fact remains is if you're in an area... And you know that area, like if you, let's just say, for example, prime example, one of the girls, I want to work with her. She ain't got a ton of cash to work with, but she know contractors, she know people, she know areas, like she is valuable for the area we're trying to invest in, right? And so what she can bring to the table is A, B, and C, but what she can also do is double down and bring more work. She can double work. As far as you know what i don't have the money but guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call around i'm gonna get some more people on the i'm gonna get some other contractor bids she can do a lot of work and that's the problem people want to get outside the work they want to be boss in the money position but they're not a money boss like you're gonna have to get your hands dirty to really get that work and and that's what people miss they like oh eric i don't want to do that and i'm like i don't have time i work a full-time job well then you need to go stay at your full-time job get your money up and when you're ready to come back, then you come back. That's just the truth, right? I'm not gonna lie to you. Like some of y'all need to just go figure out how to have a thousand dollars available. Like if you don't have a thousand dollars available to jump on these auction sites that it can't hold, because when you register whatever credit card you have, like it'll hold that. 
right? Thanks for the inside info on FitCon. Just bought, just bought two ninety seven pre sale pass. I'm telling you, like you might see everybody else at that house with speak on stage. That's how legit I am right now because there's just, there's just, the bar for achievement is so low, Cam Cam, that, um, I mean the bar is just so low, Cam Cam. I don't even know how to explain it to you. Like there are people there who did like one or two deals. They house hack one house. And I'm sitting there beside Kendra who's got $200,000 a year in rental income. And I'm like, put her on stage. Get this person off stage, put her on stage. But that's the thing. Most people who are really doing it, they get so deep into what they're doing. They don't even think about that. They don't even think, they don't even think you know, I should be speaking at places. I should be doing this. Thank y'all for pushing, uh, putting um, the links in the comment section. I really appreciate that. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to pull over here and park for a second. Because ah, I've been touring neighborhoods and I'm a little tired. You're a little tired here. Hold on a second. I'm going to park briefly and read some of your comments here. <clears throat> okay, so I see some ones from what I said. Okay, so it's called the FIRE movement. Um, and it's like financial independence and early retirement or some they they've changed the words around and i was talking about the other day because Susie orman was going off y'all Susie orman was like wowing she was just upset because she was like two million dollars is not enough now a lot of people in the fire movement let's just be honest they got good job they got good jobs they got good jobs they have good careers they have certifications. They're making a 80 to 100,000 a year. And instead of spending every year trying to stunt on them, they're just throwing every dollar they can into their retirement accounts and to rental properties. And, you know, when they hit a number, a particular number, uh, mostly paper assets, they, re they, they say, well, I'm going to take a year or two off retire. Or I'm going to do an early retirement because we only need 50K to live off of. Well, everybody can't live the money mustache lifestyle. They just can't. Everybody's not going to trim it back because what's happening? A lot of millennials are getting married later. They're also having children later. So one hiccup, and Susie Orman's whole thing was, one hiccup is going to have you out. One uh, one lawsuit, one car accident, one thing to go wrong with your kids. Your kids have some kind of illness or cancer or your parents need help financially. You're going to be out. And so I agree with her in that technique, but I my whole thing is I'm glad people even see the concept that they don't have to work to their 65. I'm glad they even see the concept. But in order to see the concept is, You've got to get that income up. When I'm talking about these certifications and CamCam Cam and Salesforce and all that stuff, I'm saying this from experience, from looking from Fedville and North Carolina, like even when I'm here right now and seeing Austin, Texas, the difference is the yearly income, right? Somebody making 100000 a year or my friends who are girls, they're like in the one percenters, they're making 150000 a year as women. And men were like, ooh, and my one friend was like a size two and men were like, ooh, no right because the income was so high like even when she got married her husband made like seventy thousand dollars less than her and she didn't care because she was just happy to get married because of the drama that associates with her making such a high income but the fact is i've got friends who are 30 31 they've already made a million dollars they left college become were engineers and making 80 to 100 thousand dollars every year and then her of course making 150 like she's very specialized so they've already made their big buckets so they could, if they buy into the movement of like, I don't have to work forever, they can. That's why you see stay-at-home moms increasing up. Stay-at-home moms went up 13% over the past 10 years. I'm going to go on the O'Shea show. I'm going to be on a Sunday rumble. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm going to do it because it's, it's necessary. Conversation needs to happen. It's finances, period. It's finances. You want a different life? You want to not be dealing with craziness? Finances. Stay-at-home moms went up because women made all, a lot of women made money, realized, oh, I don't really need this job. I can live off half because when my husband makes this much, bounce out of job. There's law firms saying every year they have women at 30 just bouncing. Soon as they get the ring on, they out. Peace out. And then there's some men who are making 30K a year going, well, they just want to retire. I'm like, bro, in order to really have a family and be there for your kids and be up in your kids' space, like you need money, one, two, and you need a mom who can do some more time. Or a dad. Belief in fatherhood. I love their channel. He was a stay-at-home dad. She was working as a teacher and people were clowning him every single show under the comment section. But guess what? They just made all that money with sponsorships and Walmarts and Stitch Fits, you name it. So the, at the end of the day, somebody has to stay home or spend some time, more time at home with the kids. People don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that shit. They're going to be quiet. That's just a fact. In order to really get there, and, and, and that's part of why the fire movement was so big. The early retirement, the whole money mustache thing is like, people realize they cannot spend 
all the time at work and they can't spend it all the time with their kids. And they can't travel the world on be on Instagram if they at work all the time, 60 hours a week, both him and the, and the wife. It just doesn't work. So that's why a lot of people got into the fire movement. You even see it now on Instagram. You see a lot of people uh, getting RVs, doing RV trips, husband and wife quitting jobs for a year or two. And these are, let's be honest, highly skilled people quitting their jobs because they know, uh, yeah, I can come back and be a speech therapist. Oh, I can come back and be uh, a nurse. I can come back and be all these things because their their careers in demand. If you're just a manager at KFC, like you leave, everybody can replace you. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying it to knock you as a food service person because let's be really 100 uh, Chick-fil-A managers make like bank. We have a friend that makes 92,000, but she is a regional, regional manager at Chick-fil-A at this point. And then there's another person we know in food service. He makes 70,000 Papa John's manager. So it does not knock them. I'm just saying in order for you to be able to leave and retire early financially, it's going to be really hard when you have a non hundred thousand year career. Let's just be honest. So I'm going through these comments. Uh, what's up? The Greek surgeon, Jamar, Mentor Shelly, um, Drake Chap. What's up, Mentor Shelly? You're reminding me the extreme importance of networking. Y'all, I, it's just for the soul. The energy for the soul. I don't know how to explain it to y'all. Like, sometimes the energy it takes, like, I spent maybe two, three weeks before going to FitCon explaining to my friends where I was going, why I was traveling for a month, why I was going to be on the road, why I might not come back to Texas for a while, why I'm doing all these things. And it was it was such a drain to explain to them what I was doing. But I knew, I knew. And I and this is me with a strong mental personality and a strong, like, backbone. I can imagine some of y'all trying to tell your family and friends and they're like, poop it on your dream and it just exhausts you, right? I was exhausted. I was like, I got to get out of here. And the whole time at FedCon, every time I sat down and I listened to somebody speak, I was like, do you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I can tell the mental exhaustion is coming from, hey, what's up, Michael Watts? In a weird way, it's something to admire, right? Okay, I'm almost, I'm almost through a lot of these. All right. Thank you so much, Daniel McRae. Okay, Joseph Simmons, do I need to block you today? You cutting up? I, I Let me tell you, also, too, so many people, I can't say their names. I don't want to get in trouble. But there are, like, 20 people moving to Oakland. Like, as a group, because they're just like, Oakland is popping. And I was like, let me go out there. Now, I am not a fan of California. Y'all already know I'm not a fan of California. Um, for, for the political reasons, not for the state. State's beautiful, but it's beautiful and broken. So I'm going to go out to Oakland a few more times and check out some things because... People keep telling me what's up. They tell me Cali's got a, Cali's Oakland's got some stuff going on there. What's up, Philippi? What's up? Los Angeles here. Cash money. T. Kelly. The cash money. Listen, I I don't know how to break it down to y'all. You gotta come with something. And if you don't come with the cash money, the credit, the credit, which I don't mean credit cards, I mean lines of credit. Because I've been in rooms where people are like, oh, Erica, let's partner. And I talk to them and they're like, oh, you got a credit card? 12% or seven, even 7% interest. They're like, nah, we can't do no long-term buy and hold on that. You need to go get a line of credit. So, so be careful when you're telling people, oh, I got cash. Okay. What do you have? Do you have a credit card with high interest? I can't really make no money with you. You're going to need to, you're going to need such a high rate of return. It won't make sense. So that's why I'd be trying to get y'all out of that credit card mode and getting that line of credit mode. Airbnb, but is the bomb. If you have the extra space, go for it. Yes, Yolan. Like right now, we're looking for a big old house in Detroit. Because we're going to be in Detroit. I'm going to be in Detroit. I'm not going to name off who's all there. October 25th through the 28th. Got my video guy with me doing a bunch of stuff. And y'all need to be there. If you're in Detroit and you want to meet up, let put it in the comments if y'all think it'd be a good idea to do a meetup in Detroit. I got some faces, ideals I think I want to do. Mentor Shelly, I want to focus on the trucks first, then free art auction taxi so here's the thing Michelle. get the money then go to the next thing right complete a task then go to the next thing a lot of times you see people hop all over and even in this channel i have to always excuse myself because i'm like you guys are just dealing with me with my raw energy and sometimes i'm all over the place but it's way more organized than you think it is right like i write out whole plans whole operating agreements i'd be on rocket lawyer all day throwing like throwing it together um so that it makes sense and so a lot of you just need to pick one and focus pick one and hammer the crap out of it if you had a job and you say eric i just need to get up 10 grand extra a year hey hammer that job see what they're gonna do for you but make sure you pay attention thank you al gordon thank you apple mac thank you nikki baby <laughs> thank you so much 
Oh, they, they, I, I think, listen, I don't know if you realize this, Apple Mac, this thing has shut down the app seven times while we're talking right now. And I've had to keep pushing the button. Keep pushing the button. Like, I'm gonna be quiet. I can't say it no more. Th that's the thing. If I could do a camera and record the FidCon and just interview all the, the black excellence that was there, and even if I play that on TV 24 7, people would still be like, nah, those are, those are not real black people. Those are not real black people. So that, that's the thing that drives me crazy. What's up, Chris? Love the power of networking. It's time to be an owner of more land that's set aside for wildlife. It's so much. Let's get let's get you a demo reel, a press kit, and get you on that stage. Cam, Cam, why are you reading what I'm supposed to be doing today? Hush your mouth. Uh, yeah, I am waiting on a press kit, honestly, right now. Like, y'all didn't even, I don't know if y'all followed on Instagram. We were taking headshots and pictures, and I was like, yo, everybody here, we need press kits. We need press kits immediately. We need press kits. We need... Um, we, we got like my video guys doing a bunch of stuff when I go to Dallas, giving me some B roll y'all. It's going to be lit. It's going to be next level. So I'm trying to be calm, I'm trying to calm down, but I'm all like, yeah. Thank you so much. Party McFly. See you next year. Greek surgeon. You really got to talk about <sighs> Michael Watts. Jason just said something earlier. Here's the thing. Michael Watts. I'll read out what he said. You really got to talk about NY articles on how Trump dad used the system to pass his wealth onto his kids. I've talked about this multiple times that when people have these giant um, corporations, all they do is they get older is they increase the shares of their children and lower their share. So when they die, it's like, oh, daddy only had 5% of the company. When daddy built the whole company, you dig? They, they're, 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 they do it in phases. So all the article in New York Times talked about is the fact that Trump's dad, when the mom and dad had their corporation, they gave him a small share. They were making him like managers and, and you know they were just growing what his role was and then most likely putting some money away into a spot over to the left. As he got older, then he it looks like Donald Trump's been making money since he was five years old, which that's what the article basically said. Um, I can tell you right now, I have friends, again, like I told y'all about my friends in the moms and the credit cards, the American Express, the Korean moms. They're at the flea market store, but they end up creating an LLC with their children's name on it and getting, and now their children are going to college, 18, 19, getting 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 dollar American Express cards in the mail. And they ain't did a damn thing, but sometimes we at the flea market on Saturdays. So, so it's a system that's always worked. I just think certain groups have, when you're poor, you do bad things like you, uh, open up. Uh, electric bills in your children's name and cell phone bills in your children's name. That's the wrong way to do it. That's not the way to do it. You know, that's why I'm always saying if people are in poverty, they need to work on getting more skills, certifications and more money in instead of being outside protesting for $15 an hour, which I saw that mess on TV and more people were getting arrested. I was like, go get a fucking skill. That's what I had to stop myself from saying it, but I went to go knock on the window. Hey y'all go get a skill. Right. Um, and more skills, not like they're not, they're unskilled technically. But that's the thing is like, if you set it up now, your children can do whatever. And that's really the thing. That's the difference when people talk about jobs and you can't give your job to your children. And it's, it's, it's not even that. It's like, here's the diff. Here's something I'm going to say to y'all and y'all may get offended and you're, you have the right to dislike the channel and follow. I don't care. I have at least four black friends and maybe 10 white friends from college. Now we're not all toe close buddy, buddy, but this was like associate slash friends in college. Every single one of those people and the black ones included parents gave them the down payment for their townhomes. Now let's get to it. These weren't as big, you know, these huge $200,000 houses. They were like $55,000 townhouses and condos in Raleigh, North Carolina that were newly built. So sometimes a buyer uh, gave them incentives and really all they needed down was like two grand. Now, many of you are going to be like, oh, I ain't paying for my kids or no place to stay. I ain't paying no money. And it's like, well, then that's what your legacy is. A no money family. Because all your kids got to pile back up in the house to live with you because you don't have $2,000 to send them on their fucking way. Like, I'm telling you, between the closing costs and that, at most, those kids' parents maybe gave them three grand. And what it did is they got them in the townhouse. My mom tried to get me on it. And I was like, no, I was super stubborn. And their mortgages were like $300, $400. So 
So now instead of your kid moving to Raleigh, getting a new job, trying to get the job they want and paying thousand to a thousand dollars plus a month for an apartment or splitting apartment with somebody they may not like, $800, $900, they're paying $400 and then they may move a roommate in and that person paid them $400 and now they live in rent free. And so that's why when people complain about, well, I'm not giving my, I'm not paying for my kids college. I'm not paying for my kids. Nothing. It's like, it's like you, you, you've set your kids up to be nobodies. You've set your kids up to struggle. You've set your kids up to fail. And it's just the truth. Like it, 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 when people say, oh, you know, we want our kids to work for it and earn themselves. And I'm like, I get that. I feel you. I want everybody's kid to go earn it and work for it and have their drive and the hustle. But don't handicap them and then be like, why are you taking so long? I see so many people taking 10 years to do what other people have done in five. But it's because their parents aren't in place. And I say parents, not just mama. Daddy and mama are not in place or in a position to even give them $2,000. Like, even when I remember a friend saying he got a new job offer. But he did not have the money for the deposit to move into the apartment. His parents wouldn't even give him $1,000. So he had to drive from their house an hour and 20 minutes every day backwards and forth. So he got his first paycheck and then took that paycheck and moved. Y'all, you're, you're breaking your own legs. You're breaking your own children's legs. No one's breaking your legs. There's no racism breaking your legs. Some of that is y'all. That's crazy. I've got Asian friends who can't move out because their parents are like, do you have enough money to buy a house? Then why are you moving out? And they Asian. They might be clowning their ass too. But uh, anyway. But they go on mad trip to Las Vegas. Them Asians roll deep in Las Vegas. Nathan Howard. My wife and I are engineers. I will serve from the job in the year. Full-time real estate investing. Closing on 21 unit in two months. Thanks, Juan Pablo. All right, Nathan Howard. Hey, Juan Pablo's my... Hey, I interviewed Juan Pablo on this channel a couple times. Listen, it, it really is... And, and, and Nathan's point, to be really honest, is if you figure out the asset part, I'm really serious, y'all. If y'all get just two or three rentals, some of y'all can quit them jobs y'all hate. Some of y'all can go and do those new projects you want to decide. But you've got to be able, you got to be able to have some assets. And that's why I be hammering all the time on this channel. So to Cam Cam, to get qualified... To get qualified private homeschool teacher, you got to pay 50K to 70K a year. That alone is why I'm racing for these rentals. There you go. And, and, and so here's the thing. Some states, Cam Cam, I think you're what, New York? Where are you at? Or you might be in California. But in, in other, state, other states, the homeschool bar is so low. So low. You can chill. It's so low. I haven't forgot about our next session. I'll be in contact soon. Alternative financial medicine, no worries. Like, take your time. Um, I just, between the conferences and all this travel, I've been, like, zoned out. Like, I wasn't even going to come on here today, but I was like, you know what? I can come on here between uh, driving these neighborhoods and writing these addresses down. I think y'all think I'm joking. Hold on. Addresses, y'all, in on the yellow page. On the yellow page. <laughs> like, it, it don't even make no sense. But, um... The key here is, sorry, I got like this many pages of addresses written down. The key here is like master something here. If you don't do it, but master your job and get a thousand dollars saved up and go, Erica, I'm ready. I'm about to get on this auction. Can you help me? Can you call Asia? Uh, who can who can you call and what city you're looking for? Because what happens is we get so stuck on like, I just want to do my neighborhood, Erica. Well, then you need to go go to be bigger pockets, go to Rhea, Rhea groups and go connect with somebody in that area. Period. Oakland taxes though. Woo, Cam Cam, I heard. Oakland in the house. I live in North Cali. I lived in Oakland for eight years. Lake Meredith. Woo! T Kelly, you Oakland? I'm from the Halo. Are you doing a lecture in Atlanta soon? Um, I don't know. I have to see what's on the board. Cause it's like gonna be crazy in the next two months. But y'all gonna get some high quality video. We got a really high quality video right now. We're trying to work on um from FigCon. I was in the video booth. That camera made me feel sad. I was like I want a camera like that. I need thousands of dollars though. So anyway. Uh, hey, Apple Mac, they may have took over Oakland, but you can still hang out there. They found us hidden gem. 
Barbecue Betty and Barbie and Pe Permit Patty. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes, Nicole, I'm telling you the energy, the re re revival of energy, like, oh, revive us again. You know, I always say that song or whatever, but like, it's like the mindset, like when you're trying to convince people, when you're taking energy out of your master plan to convince people, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to travel and I'm going to go to these conferences and go connect and buy properties and just travel for a bit. People be like, oh, why? That's crazy. What are you doing? Just get a job. You know, it's so <laughs> and it wasn't until I literally I showed my mom my QuickBooks and my bank statements that she was like, well, take us out to dinner tonight. Then, Erica, it's on you. <laughs> and it's like it, people don't realize it's real. And let me be careful. Black and Hispanic parents are like, what are y'all doing? I have Hispanic friends who are on, on YouTube and they'd be like they had to show their family. You know, first they had to move out. That's the one. Number two, they got a car, all this other stuff. They had to show them that they were making money legitly. And I think it's because sometimes those communities are told so tied to scarcity mentality. Like, like, don't be living off credit cards. Don't be out here stunting like them people. You can't afford to do that. Make sure you guys hit the like button. There's a hundred of y'all here. Hit that like button if you like what you hear. Roscoe, $15 an hour means nothing at this point. Automating is going to keep getting cheaper and those minimum wage jobs will disappear. Yeah, and, and if you guys looked at the um, study they did on it, the average, the medium age of people working in fast food is 36. So what does that mean? That means in some, some towns, it's a lot of older folks working at the fast food place you love. And then, and then on the flip side, you know, who are these older people asking for 15 an hour? Like, uh, and some people are gonna say, well, Erica, people wanna do what they love. At the end of the day, if you're not taking care of your family, you're not doing, I don't care what you love. If you're not providing financial stability for the family you love, then you're not doing what you need to do. And people say, well, Erica, people take jobs around their kids. Don't have kids. And people are like, oh my God, you're terrible. Like, listen, I'm not saying don't have kids, but have kids and realize that there are a lot of nurses out there who work 12 hour shifts three times a week. And they'd be so upset because they can't spend the time they want with their kids either. But they're making 70K plus a year and they're giving themselves choices. Give yourself some choices. Erica, you would have gotten a beat down if you said it. I was on watching on TV, Health Wealth. I was at the TV like, ah, saying it to the glass. Oh, honey, I wouldn't have got no beat down. I always carry my Second Amendment. They would have got the clap, clap, clap. <laughs> um, wow, they got a new Whole Foods and everything. Okay. Some of these parents are having babies when their kids become adults. Imagine being 18 and finding out your mother's having another child. That's rough. Roscoe, I told y'all there was a woman who she got divorced from her husband. Her kids were like twins. The twins were 18 and the older son was 19, but they were all graduating at the same time and all leaving the college. I think he was held back a year. And, and you would think like, you're like, oh man, you can live your life now. You 40 something. You're going to live your best life. You're going to travel, go on cruises, you know, get you a retirement husband. Live your retirement life after 40. No, homegirl got pregnant again by another soldier. And everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Like, that's the weirdest. So sometimes these people be sabotaging themselves. You know, they're called self-sabotage. That's what they do. Apple Mac, hell, parents are begging the kids for money. And that's another part. That's another part where I have uh, a one black girl. I know she's a medical doctor. And she's the only person in her family making all this money. And she literally, that's all she's doing. Her mom's always asking for all this money. But really, the mom gets the money and then gives it to the siblings. It, it, it's disgusting. I, I mean, like, you really have to, you really have to, like, distance yourself to that point. But this, but here's, here's another thing. I'm going to say this, and this sounds ugly. If you're a doctor and you know your family's going to call you all the time for money and you're not going to put out a big no, you, you're scared to put out a no, what do you need to do to get more money? Like right now, I have friends who they're both softies and their parents are both uh, unproductive parents on both sides, wife, wife's parents and husband parents. And guess what they are doing? They are literally buying rentals and they're like, yeah, that money is just going to end up going to my mom anyway. And I thought that was the craziest shit I've ever heard. But I realized, you know, they know their situation. They know what kind of parents they have. They're not in denial about what type of parent, like they're not in denial that they don't have the heart to say no and they don't have family members who respect them enough to not ask. So, so they're just quietly collecting more rental properties, 
just quietly picking up more rental. That's just also the reason you don't see these people on Facebook and YouTube because they can't. They got family who are greedy and they cannot be out here all day saying, look at me. All right. So, so I have friends who are getting to like almost 200,000 from real estate and their parents are still like, why, why are you doing this? This is too much. What? Goodness. They really do cam cam. Hello, SL. Bro, 15 an hour. Like, here, I remember Grant Cardone said, 15 an hour, what the hell are you going to do with that? And I died because it was so true. It was like, they're not even counting in taxes. The taxes alone is eating up that 15 an hour. Apple Mac, hey, Erica, you need somebody to travel with? Apple Mac, you going to be my bodyguard, my security? I need security. Security! Now, um, Apple Mac, there, there's a ton of travel coming up. There's a ton of travel. Like, I'll just give y'all some of the rundown. Some of the rundown. Not even all of it. Like, oh, we're going to be in Detroit, October 25th through 28th. Big old crew going to be there. Uh, going to go to Baltimore with my film guy, like, November 2nd through the 5th. Uh, then Afrotech is in San Francisco, November 8th through the 11th. Uh, then you have Las Vegas Marijuana Investment Conference, the 14th through the 17th. I mean, I mean what I'm saying? Uh, then I'm being in Dallas, uh, October 19th through the 21st. Film guy's going to be there for that one, too. Uh, what's the other one? I have another one. I got to remember. Oh, Charlotte. Might do a meetup in Charlotte. Charlotte 12th, October 12th through the 14th. There's a bunch of girls coming off this bus. There's some kind of sports team. Hmm. Girl, they need more clothes on, too. If I was a mom, I'd be like, put your clothes on. Um... Erica, I'm up in Seattle. It's pretty expensive for housing here. D. Nixon, even if it is, even if it is expensive, you still have opportunity to connect with people and get into the real estate. You still do. They still do. How could my parents start an LLC for my brother and me? They both, both retired with pensions. How could they? What do you mean? They could actually go start an LLC and make you members. Yeah, they can just easily. I mean, like they can make y'all members. They can make y'all vice presidents. They can make y'all officers. Like when you fill it out, you can actually make people officers. And the officers in this LLC have the right. Like when you go on Rocket Lawyer, it's very detailed. That's why I always say get Todd Capital or Charles Ogilvy to do it for you if you want. But you can go. What does this officer of this LLC have the right to do? You go open bank accounts, sign official documents, and that's part of how they're doing it. I don't want to overstep my boundaries. Again, CYA, consult your attorney, consult your accountant. Um, talk to somebody like Charles Ogilby, who is a lawyer, and get it filled out for you. I'm just telling you what I have done. People are cheering Bear, uh, Bernie Sanders for beating Amazon. That old coup couldn't do anything but help Amazon's public image. Jeff Bezos is going to order some, some, some robots. Yeah. I say rent kids. Play with them for a few hours. When they get back on your nerves, put them back with their parents. Man, Apple Mac, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I want, like, four kids. But I want them in the, in the context of having this money straight and having a good spouse. And people get like, oh. Why are you trying to be all up and ditty? And I'm like, top 20% of America are still getting married. Le older millennials are still getting married. Like, I can tell you right now on my Facebook feed and my Instagram feed, like, 30 weddings. And they're not even fancy. Some of the weddings are, like, in the backyard, dress fancy, picnic tables, treat yourself. And it's not, and it looks amazing. Like, they got a girl to decorate and put flowers out and everything. So people, people make of it what you will. People are getting married. Don't ever believe that whole, everybody's out here tripping. Everybody's out here on Tinder. Everybody's got a baby daddy. Like, that's, that's, that's poverty mindset. Nikki, baby, I gotta get that second amendment. Always, girl, get your second amendment. Nicole, Noel, my mom stopped asking me when I was getting a real job when I gave her $500 for her 50th birthday. LOL, real job. Give her that money. Be best McDonald's in my area is 90% retirees. Stop playing, been the bartender. And honestly, some of those people, listen, let's be really honest. Those older folks working, they need to be interactive with people and they need the money. So, like, here's how I look at it. One time I went to go apply for this job. And one of my friends say, leave that job for people who need it. I remember one time I was talking about food stamps or something. And right around college. Somebody was like, leave the food stamps for people who need it. Like, elevate yourself. 
Like, you know you can do better than that, right? Like, somebody's 90 years old and they want to work at Food Line four hours a day. Yo, I'm okay with that. But what do you need to be doing at 32, Pam? Get your life together, okay? <laughs> like, go for some skill. And people are always like, it's not my passion. Erica, it's not my passion. I can't stand that now. I can't stand that. I can't even stand the word passion. They've destroyed the word passion because I'm like, you need money to live. A lot of our parents and grandparents, if you look at 1940s, 1930s, 1950s, when you see some of the jobs people parents had, you're like, why could they do that for so long? Because they had to feed people. Now some of you have the option to get nicer jobs and you still complain like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, oh, if you got a computer job with a big tech company or work for the government, okay. Make sure y'all hit that like button. It's only 59 likes and 110 of y'all in here. Come on, y'all. Come on. What's up, Alvin Hollinger the third Out there is making all the money in Houston. Roscoe Fact. Parents will leech off their kids and treat them like slaves. What makes it worse is these parents will take on responsibility they can't afford and ask the kids to help finance it. Well, that's been a big problem with the baby boomers. That's been a big problem with the baby boomers. Um, a lot of complaints are like the baby boomers wrecked the economy. It's funny. Yeah, if you want to get in the private Facebook group, hit there. Also, anybody who's paid for courses, like literally it was like 250 orders or so over the past week. And I've just like let the assistants, new assistants take over. Some of y'all have not responded to emails. I am personally going in there and be like, why have you not responded? There's like seven of y'all when it comes to credit repair. Y'all have not responded to your emails. There are like seven of y'all when it comes to some other stuff have not responded. Make sure you respond get with me. I want to get you in there. I want to get you started. Don't pay your money. Listen, if y'all got big money like that, you're just throwing $300, $400 around and you don't care. Hey, living your best life. But I care of giving you good quality service. So in between me trying to train a VA today and uh, talk with my video guy, I need y'all to work together here and send me those emails. Check your spam folder. Check all the folders. See if you actually put some of my emails in the trash, something, check your B box, whatever. But don't not respond because I can't get the work done for you. If you just want to throw $300, $400 at me because you love me, that's nice and all. But I don't want to just take your money. I want to give you a good service. Also, same with the Facebook group. If you purchase the Facebook group, go inside the course. Click the link. Ask to be added to the group. I will see you. See what I'm saying? I will see you. I still manually approve all the people getting into the group. Now, y'all are doing a great job in that private Facebook group, connecting, sharing videos, sharing stuff. Uh, we're going to try to put more meetup groups inside that group so we can meet up. Uh, I'm trying to get that group probably to 500 people. I think it'll be popping. But I think the amount of people we have in there now, one or two of y'all be able to get on auctions, get a property or two and keep it rolling. Um, I think Clifton Burns and one other girl who's in there who bought tax lien certificates out of Alabama. I'm trying to interview them. So at some point, I'll hit y'all in the emails because I think that'll be very vital to all y'all. Well, you know, Mr. McIntosh, some people do want to open a business to escape being told what to do. But now you got to tell yourself what to do. Right? It, it, or, or you don't want to be told to grind, right? Right? So the funny thing is, that's why I tell people on this channel, make an operating agreement. Like, what do you do every day when you get in here to your office or your house or your home office that creates money for you, creates sales? And if you weren't here, somebody else could come in your place and do the work for you. Listen, Apple Mac, everybody tells me you got to talk to Shay Show. There's so many personalities in Detroit and they're all so busy. Like they're getting as much money as they can in the, because before it gets real cold, like snow cold and really slows things down and pipe bursts and all those problems, winterizing stuff. Shay Show cracks me up because he got that perm in his hair. Anytime I see a black man with perm in his hair in 2018, I'm nervous. I'm very concerned. And I laugh a little. I go, what, who are you pimping? Okay. Save, invest, repeat. Most parents don't acquire any assets during their youthful years. Then use medical bills as an excuse for not having money. You know I want to laugh at that because it's true. <laughs> like, I, like right now my mom's making six figures and still be like, I need more money. You need more money, mom? What else are you doing other than vacations? Stop it. It will bend the bartender. It will tell you what you need to do. Greek surgeon. This is why I'm not married yet. Got to get the money up. And it's not even, listen, I'm, I, I, and people are going to be like, Erica, you're making it all about money. You're making it all about, and it's not just money. It gives you options. 
Also, who are you going to be? Like, there's this, this thing I was talking with this girl. And it's 114 of y'all in here. Let's get the likes up. I was talking with this girl and she was saying guys were approaching her. But she wanted to lose weight so that the bets, right? Like, not some guy going, well, she's she's overweight and, she, and I can get over on her kind of guys were approaching her now she's not saying all the men were like that but i kind of understood what she was trying to say she wanted to be approached by someone who was going to see her as a wife potential and take her seriously so she really wasn't dating as much while she was losing weight she waited till she lost uh she lost about 40 pounds and she started dating and she now she's engaged but i think what happens is um we can't tie everything to money because anybody with money could come along right we have to tie it to some characteristics now when you're getting money Getting money is good. That shows you have skill, that you have persistence, but also what you do with the money. Like if you show me that you out here, Dan Brazilian, what is that guy name? And you just got 20 strippers on you at Las Vegas every weekend and you poker gambling. Okay, well, I don't want that. I don't want you with your money. You doing some recklessness with your money. It's just showing what who you are and what what's, you know, what's inside of you is coming out. All that, all that, that's all money does. Money just uh, expands who you are and what you do. It just expands it. That's all. Four kids, yes, Derek Bailey, four kids. Even if I have to adopt one, I'm okay with that. Or two, depending on how late we're rolling with this, right? Um, but again, black don't clack. Black don't clack, black magic. Got time. Erica, today I read about an 87-year-old man being a truck driver to pay for his wife's medical bills. That scared the crap out of me. Yeah, it's like people are running out of, they're running out of money. They're not, they're living longer. They're living to 90. That's very common now. We got a lot of people living to 90. But did they save up money to live till 90? That is a no. As you guys are marketing this cup, real estate life. Oh, so good. Let's see here. What's the next one? I wish I was playing. They have good customer service. They really do, though. They probably do. They're very respectful, probably. The government done con people with that do what you love BS. Man, that mess be making me want to slap people. And here's the thing. They may complain about China and other countries like forcing everybody to go into science. And so now they need artists. Well, one, China shouldn't have killed a lot. Of, they killed a lot of artists back in uh, the 70s and 80s. And they, killed a lot of, they killed a lot of artists back in uh, the 70s and 80s. But, but also... It's a blend. Like everybody can't be an artist, right? Like so, America has the reverse problem. Everybody wants to be an entertainer and an artist and goofy and goofing off and making comedy on Facebook. It's like some of y'all need to get a job. Some of y'all need Facebook. It's like some of y'all need to get a job. Some of y'all need to get a skill and a job. Get a skill and a job. There's only one job that can pay you for passion and it's illegal in most states. Only one job that can pay you for passion and it's illegal in most states. Stop it, Brenda. They stop it, Brenda bartender. <laughs> wow, Debbie Jean. Yes, okay. Erica, my brother is locked up and will be out when he's in his 60s. What can me and my mom do for him so that he will leave? He will have money to live off. What can my mom do for him so that he will leave? He will have money to live off when he gets out. Okay, so when he gets out. Okay, so Debbie Jean, are you older than him or younger? Um, I would definitely look into, like, here's Debbie Jean, are you older than him or younger? Um, I would definitely look into, like, here's the thing. My brother, which you guys don't know, my family's a bunch of cops, but my brother did go to jail and when we came out, um, it's, you know, we're getting him focused on HVAC services because uh, he can have an air-conditioned company even being a felon uh, and get funding and be fine and all that stuff and keep it moving. Uh, now, when it comes to that, you need to be sending him, let me be really serious, Debbie Jean, you need to send him books, one book every three months on related to whatever it is y'all trying to get him focused on. If it's real estate, real estate books, if it's money, whatever that is, send him that. I know a lot of people put on the list, they want books to kind of escape their thoughts. Um, you need to send them books on like focused because at 60 he may live 30 more years to 90 right and so he needs to have 30 years worth of income potentially right so I see a lot of older men that have gotten out of jail and they and it's hard to find work and so what I would encourage that y'all to do for that family member is some type of job if even it's lawn care or whatever I would look for something that that person can do or has skills in but I would definitely be sending them books to keep their mind sharp and thinking send them puzzles sudoku all that stuff they need to be always re renewing their mind um and honestly rentals you could have a duplex or a fourplex 
your brother come out live in one of the units for as long as he takes care of that duplex cut the grass keep care of the place and if anybody asks on the property just go oh he's the manager that's all go oh he's the manager that's all so so that was what i would do that's what i would do so let me know if that answered your question Michael Watts, I grew up middle class. I want to be wealthy. I'm going to into the NY Guard as a combat engineer. Okay, Michael Watts. So what you would need to do is focus on where you can put your extra income. You know, that's really the leap. It's really just a math problem. And how do we solve a math problem? We really solve a math problem by saying, okay, Erica, if I buy one rental every three years or something, because New York's so expensive, or I buy one rental 50K to 100K house a year, you know, in 10 years, you have a whole different life. Shit, in five years, shit, in three years. If you just have three, you're in the 1%. Because most people have a second home, like an Airbnb, a timeshare or something. Second home. Most the, When you get to the three properties, that's when you get into 1% of America. I think the top 2% of America. Alan Hodger, Daddy Pa, Nani Pa. I am not going to be a Daddy Pa or a Nani Pa. I am going to be a spring chick mama. I was eating dinner and one of my family was like, oh, you got a gray hair in the top of your head. I was like, really? Are we eating dinner or not? You better stop yourself. Okay, Ben DeBarger, I don't know if you mean to take that down or what. I need help with my resale side hustle. I need eBay Lister. Can to me taking money out of my business to pay hourly assistant. I'm telling y'all, assistance is where it's at. If you can pay somebody to do more, it'll free up your time to get more inventory, get more things to resale, all kind of stuff in the bartender. Uh-oh, thank y'all for getting on them trolls. Black magic, Nikki baby. Wealth is going to be the single most... Different ugh, when human life expectancy increases due to genetic improvement and tech, only folks with money can afford to live past 100. Well, Kim Kim, it's not even that, it's just like quality of life, right? Like, I was talking about teeth, and I know y'all get tired of me talking about teeth on this channel because my teeth aren't perfect, but they're, they've been taken well care of. I'm meeting people who are 30 years old, no teeth, teeth falling out the front of their mouth, they got dentures, they got just bad quality care and teeth. And it's such a life changer because what it shows me is their parents did not have enough money to take care of them. And provide them teeth. Teeth are not cheap. But they're a lot. I mean, I know this girl. She was beautiful. Beautiful girl. And she never smiled, smiled because her teeth were all crooked and messed up. Her husband, one of the first things he did when he got in the army is bought, got her some, got all her teeth straight. They fixed all those teeth. Okay. And, and boy, you can't tell her shit. You can't tell her shit now. When you see her, you be like, look at her. Them new teeth got her a new life. I will. I'm not feeling fiber. No, don't go on fiber. Um, actually, I would go on. Oh, God. What's the name of that one? Uh, Odesk. Odesk has some great American VAs. Odesk is where I was originally looking. But I also go through people who recommend somebody else. Like if somebody recommends somebody for me, that's I start with them first. And then I go Odesk. Odesk has some great American sign up, register, go in there. You got all kind of choices like stay at home moms who can just get on the computer for a few hours and do work for you and get stuff knocked out. Like that's what you need. Varney G tonight. Hey y'all. Thanks Erica for helping me get access to sick bundle too. But in regards to Oakland, I live in Calendar. What do you guys want to know? What are you guys investing in? Oh, well, so it's not that they're investing in Oakland. There's a ton of people moving to Oakland, like a ton of folks moving to Oakland. Um, and they're going to be doing some investment, but I don't know what yet. I really don't. Like, I looked at Oakland on Realtor.com for like two hours and I was frustrated. I was like, this is so expensive. My grandmother has a pear tree in her backyard. I'm like, Grandma, you know the market for organic fruit. I'm going to hit up the farmer's market. You pull them pears off your grandma tree and put them in little, those little bushel baskets you put them in like you sell them. Your grandma might whoop you. Check Upwork. Yes. If you're looking for admins... Did I say Odesk? Odesk is now Upwork, right? Odesk, Odesk is funding. Upwork is what I meant. I apologize, y'all. I'm tired. Okay. I, I would. I know people want cheap BAs, but there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot of future soccer moms at home during the daytime. She ain't doing shit. She waiting on the kids to come home. She done washed all the clothes. She done cooked dinner, and she can spend three, four hours searching the internet or doing whatever you need for her. Done. Odesk is F work, FYI. Thank y'all so much. I'm so tired. It's Odesk. 
On deck is the funding. O desk is Upwork because it changed the name. Health weight. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's so serious. No, she gonna leave now. She got them teeth not jacked up. Apple Mac, man, he he better he better hold on to her. Better hold on tight. Ben the bartender, why are your messages deleted? I didn't delete Ben the bartender's messages. I don't know why it's messed up. Okay, I'll check out Odessa or Apple Mac. Yeah, so that's basically uh, what I'm talking about. Wobbly wieners? Is that it? What is that? All right, you guys, listen, thank you all for being here. We've gone an hour on. Um, I'm just telling you, the long story short, VidCon was amazing. I'm going to have so much content to share and give y'all. Uh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I want to show you all this beside me, though. Okay. Puerto Rico tax incentives are awesome. Cam, Cam, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you what we're doing. But look at this beside me, y'all. Can y'all see? Oh, no. I can't get it in time. So this guy has like a brand new truck. And then they have the old truck. And the white guy got out from working with him. And I can already tell you what they was doing. The, it was a, the white dude that had the nice brand new truck. He ain't did no work all day. And this older, back-looking hurt white guy probably did a ton of work for him all day. I see it happen every day. The person with the money needs an assistant to do the work. Did y'all see that? Let me know if y'all saw that. And the development there needs it. Cam Cam, I can't tell you all the details, but Puerto Rico has had so much money allotted to it. It's a fucking gold mine. All right, Erica, any business suggestions for a small business bank in West Texas? The credit union out here only does DBA, and that defeats the purpose of an LC. Um, Apple Mac, I would probably go on the list top 100 banks. And see if you can do something online. Do you need to go in the bank every day? Do you need to deposit cash? What do you need from your bank to do? Apple Mac, if you can get, if you can do most of your stuff online, that would be perfect. Because see, like, I don't know what you do. If you do resale or eBay, like, you can get your deposits through PayPal, right? Just move it over. Yeah, so Roscoe, the guy with the nice truck was dropping off the worker bee who's in this other truck and his wife was waiting on him. Okay, so yeah, if y'all, that makes sense of what I was just trying to describe, what was happening. And he was like, all right, see you tomorrow, man. So I was like, I know those situations. Are you just the face of the company? You looking nice and shiny and you bring out old Billy Bob to cut the grass and build the stuff and knock the wood down. And you just over there making sure Billy Bob is working. But at the end of the day, guys like Billy Bob need that too. Love your channel. Been falling for I have a hot dog stand in San Diego, California. People love the name. I see it, man. Wobbly Wieners, man. That's a name, yo. Y'all send me a shirt. I'll wear that shit. If y'all have a shirt, I will wear it. I'm not even joking. I'm so 100% serious. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you may be posting too fast. Uh, yeah, I understand what the going on with that old guy. Yeah, see, Apple Mac, you know what I'm saying? Like, the old dude, he may have all the skill in the world. But if you don't have, uh, if you don't have your... Again, when I keep telling y'all about having systems and structures in place and having your stuff organized, people really don't do it. They wait till they get old. They back about to give out and now they need help. And so he may be so skilled and talented, but now he has to work for that other dude. And it helps both of them. That's all. It's going to help both of them at the end of the day. I'm trying to plug this uh, thing in, but it's tripping. What else? That's awesome and hilarious. It really is. Wobbly Wieners, if y'all have a t-shirt, I will wear that on this channel. I'm not even joking. Now, also, for some of you, I've got over 100 emails of people trying to get me to wear t-shirts and stuff. Here's, here's the thing. Send it to me. I put the addresses on here all the time. Send it to me. I will consider wearing it as long as it's not crazy. But that's a part of advertising. You can't be like, are you going to wear this shirt 27 times? Are you going to pay me? The only person that I wear the shirt for is people that pay me or give me affiliate links. But I think Wobbly Weeders could get aware at least one time. Check out BanksLoveMe.com for directly of small businesses in your area. Hashtag Cam Cam coming in for the win. Cam Cam better come with me to a marijuana investment conference in Las Vegas. I'm going to need a Cam Cam on the scene. I think it'll be good for you. Cam Cam, you need to hit me up and let me know your schedule. <laughs> and ATL, this dude was suited and booted driving a guy. And a lawnmower on the back, van knocking doors, a grass cutting job. He stood back looking pretty. Oh, yeah. I see that all the time, y'all. I'm not even joking. This is a real deal thing. Like, people are really getting in these places where they need that. Hold on. Let me make sure this works. Is it charging the phone? It might pull it down. So, 
Small banks, not businesses. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, there was a when um you got any foot long? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, Cam, Cam, shoot me a message. But yeah, for sure. Like, I'm telling you, I see this all the time. Where some guy, I saw this black guy, and he had a Hispanic guy with him. And then the guy who cut a grass was an old white dude, but he won't cut the grass. He had young Hispanic guys riding a truck with him. It, it happens all the time. So anyway, look, I've been on here an hour, 10 minutes, killing the battery of the phone. So look, you guys, VidCon was lit. I'm probably going to talk about it two more times and then calm down. I have all kind of video I'm going to upload. But definitely check out... Khalil and uh, Khalil and Kiera, the video I just posted, it's like five minutes. And then the video yesterday, it's like five minutes. So uh, you, you want you want millionaires on the channel? You want me to bring good people? I'm bringing them. So uh, you guys, make sure you hit the notification button. Again, I'm Erica Williams from Classy Climb Blog, author of The Smartphone Millionaire. The hard copy is always on Amazon. If you want to join the private Facebook group where we're trying to make some deals happen and partner together and set up meetups, go into the links below. And definitely, thank you, Mr. Shelley. Thank you for supporting the channel. I also want to thank Barney for supporting the channel and also the other person who supported the channel today. You guys are appreciated. You are the sponsors of the show. Um, listen, you guys, thanks for being here. You make this great. The past five years has been fabulous. The next five years or less or whenever I have these babies is going to be just as great. You guys, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Have an awesome day.